Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back filming another haul for you guys. I have a good little collection of items here and I'm expecting some more items in the mail tomorrow. So I think I'm going to film what I can right now and then film the rest tomorrow and just tack it on at the uh, end of this video. I just kind of have the free time right now and I want to start putting some of these items away. So if you see my nail color change or anything like that, you know what's going on, but I guess we can just go ahead and get started. If you'd like to see what fun goodies I have to share with you today, uh, stay tuned and we will jump right in. Usually when I have a haul that doesn't just feature sticker items, I like to put the non-sticker items first. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I have some goodies from Simply Gilded to share with you guys today. And I love her little packaging. She puts everything in these cute little baggies and then her little logos on the back. It's so, I love that little bunny. So I just picked up some washies and a pen. First we have her business card here, and like usual, I did get a little journaling card. This one's really pretty. It has a cupcake, says treat yourself, and it is rose gold foiled, so I'll definitely be saving that. And of course, Simply Gilded does uh, sell mainly washi, so that is what I picked up. Actually, let me go ahead and open these up first because that will take me so long to do on camera, so I'll be back in just a second. So as part of this uh, little purchase from Simply Gilded, I picked up two rolls of washi. First, we have another one of her beautiful bow washies. This is a new one that is pastel pink, like the one that I do have, but I don't know how well you can tell. This is actually a rose gold bow. The other pastel pink ones that I have are gold bows. So I saw this come out and I was super excited about it. And I believe when she first released this, she was doing like a little combo where you could get a pen, uh, buy them together as like a set. I have a few of these little diamond pens. They're really cute and I just love how glam they are in your planner. This one is, uh, well, it's pastel pink and it's got some rose gold features with the big old faux diamond on top. I think that it's a really cute set and I figured that if I was going to get the washi I would just go ahead and get the pen too. Love my bow washi so much. I'm like not huge on buying like tons of washi in general but it's totally my goal to get every single bow washi under the sun. And then I picked up another roll of washi here. This is a swan washi. It's a really pretty light gray color with some gold foiled swans on it. So I really like this and I actually picked this one up to go, I'll lay this one out too. I picked this one up to go along with a kit from Two Little Bees that I shared in my last haul, I think. And that haul was very swan heavy, so I don't even have to explain to you guys how much I love swans. But I picked it up because I thought that it would look really nice with the Enchanted kit from Two Little Bees. This one doesn't have any swans in it in particular, I think, but it's got the light gray and some pink and then some of that faux gold marbling, so I thought that it would look really cute together. That's why I picked this up and I just think that it's gorgeous in general. I know that I've seen some other people use it in their videos and stuff like that. So that's all that I got from Simply Gilded as part of this order. But on a related note, I did go ahead and kind of make another Simply Gilded order without it being specifically Simply Gilded. Irene of Simply Gilded uh, did a collab with Pen Gems where she got to design her own pens. And I love the box. Mine got a little funky there, but it's like a soft pastel rainbow. And that goes along with the pens themselves. So this actually came in a set of three. And I think this might be like the first time that a Pen Gems collab comes out with like more than one pen. So we've got three pens here. We've got a periwinkle blue barrel, a pastel pink barrel, and a white barrel, and they all have this really pretty light rainbow sparkle inside of the glass section. And on the top, they've all got that really pretty iridescent, I forget what this is called, vitriol maybe? Topper. So they're really, really pretty, and when you bought the three pens together, 
there was no option to buy them individually, and I don't know if there will be, but when you bought the three of them together, you got them in the cool box, and then they also came with another bow washi, so if nothing else, this was an opportunity for me to continue to add on to my bow washi collection. This one here kind of matches the Periwinkle Blue pen. It's a light periwinkle blue washi with like a champagne gold bow so really love that and i think that this would look um really nice in the winter and in the spring so definitely happy to add to both my bow washi and my pen gems collections because they are my faves so that's everything from pen gems and simply gilded Jumping into some stickers, next I have here the April Mystery Kit from Scribble Prints Co. And I actually bought this sort of like second hand, I guess. I purchased it off of one of the Marketplace Facebook groups. There are multiple where you can buy and sell uh, planners and planner goodies. And I was so, so, so upset because I didn't get the April kit. I'm not subscribed to the mystery kits, but you can buy them in Andrea's shop uh, after the fact. And I had it in my cart, and then when I went to check out, it was gone, like they had sold out. So I went on Facebook and I posted it onto the group. I think it was EC Marketplace, or We Love EC Marketplace. And I posted asking if anybody was going to sell theirs, and somebody did sell theirs to me. And I really love this kit. I love the colors, and I love the theme. It was all sort of brunch themed. So first here we have the little sampler, like the regular kit. And then because this was a mystery kit, the person who was subscribed to it did get some extras that she actually included for me, which was really nice. First, we have some full boxes with some fashion girls at brunch, and you get a few different skin tone and hair color combinations. And then there was this little sheet of brunch date stickers, and I already used one in my spread from this past week because it was just too perfect to pass up, and I did go out to brunch with my best friend. So these are really cute because you get some neutral ones too that you can pull in at a later date as well. Then as for the kit, it's just so adorable. I love brunch. I love breakfast food all day, every day. So super excited about this. We've got all the deco. We've got the eggs, the croissants, the avocado toast. It's so, so cute. And it's called the SPC Cafe, which is adorable. And of course, I really love these colors. We've got different shades of rosy pinks and blacks. Here we have the headers and the patterned washi, the functional sheet, half boxes, quarter boxes, and some more functional stickers. Another reason that I really like this kit were these heart checklists. I love the pattern on them. I think that it's so pretty with the sort of faux rose gold glitter on them. I think that they're super cute. The solid washi and little things. Here we have the bottom washi date covers and another full box. And here we have all of the full boxes, which are so cute. I love them. I love the breakfast double box here, Instagramming your latte, the bubbly, so, so cute. And we actually, like I said, my best friend and I got brunch this past weekend, and I was like, it was a last minute sort of plan, and I was kind of regretting that I didn't know beforehand so that I could use this kit, but... Now it's just an excuse to go ahead and get brunch again. Or I might use this as like my rewind kit for like the last week because we got brunch. <laughs> so that is everything from Scribble Prints Co. Next, I have a small order here from Villa Beautiful. This is villabeautiful.com. And Tiff is a really sweet girl who I've been following on Instagram for a long time. And she has some really, really unique options and selections on her shop so she makes stickers but they're all super unique and I know that you could get like decorating kits where you get like a bunch of different uh, things revolving a certain theme like stickers and ephemera and die cuts and stuff like that uh, she also has like other stationary items as well Actually, I forgot. Um, I also picked up a pen from her shop. So she's got pen and stuff like that. Washi, uh, an assortment of things. So she's got some really cute stickers. And I had never purchased from her. But I saw that she was having a sale. So I figured that I would go ahead and pick up some of her items. Because I think the sale was really good. So first, I did pick up a pen. Because this looked like the nice sort of fine tip pens that I usually like. Uh, this is a 0.38 pen, and they're always um, 
from like Asian countries and you can get these on Amazon and stuff like that. But I just picked up one from her shop and it's just white with some polka dots. Then my little order came with this journaling card here. It's really pretty floral and it says simplicity is the keynote of all true elegance. And that's apparently a Chanel quote. And then actually it came with one more sort of backing card here which I'm sure you could save and this just says her website Villa Beautiful with two F's because her name is Tiffany or Tiff. <laughs> so this is really really pretty. And like I mentioned I just got a few assorted sheets. She doesn't do like traditional sort of like kits that you could get on Etsy and stuff like that but you can buy sheets together to make a sort of uniform spread. Her planning is very creative and super cute and I picked up a few sheets here. I don't remember which ones go together or not but most of the sheets I got aside from this back one over here are actually on clear sticker paper. So I don't know how well you can tell but these are clear. Well, not clear because obviously they're printed on, but they are clear stickers. They're really thin, so I can't, like, describe <laughs> the sort of texture of them. They're not a glossy, but they're not matte. They're, like, plasticky, I guess. Uh, I think that this, I think that some of them go together. So I'll show you these first. I think that these, maybe these three go together as part of some sort of Villa Beautiful collection or something like that. I should look it up, but my phone is charging right now. But these kind of all went together, and I think that they are sort of like special to her because we've got what I think is supposed to be her in the Villa Beautiful shirt, and I know that her hair is like that. I just really like these colors, and I thought that this would be really fun to do a fun white space spread. You know, you've got some functional stickers, like special delivery, a bill due, a planner, these big icons, and again, these are all clear, which is like super cool. I l really like that. I think that it's fun. Almost like the kind of stickers that you would get at a craft store. Here we've got a big planner, a cute sort of half box with a bow. I love the bows. Like, I'm super into the bows. We've got her dog. I believe her dog's name is Luca, and it's a little Westie, so that's really cute. The florals reminds me a lot of like Betsy Johnson. And then over here we've got some cut washi strips. Again, I'm so into the bows. I think that they're really cute. Some quotes, believe in the possibilities, work like a boss. So it's kind of like a girl boss. Don't love that term, but a girl boss sort of kit, I guess. So these are all super cute. And I thought that maybe combining them with, let me go ahead and show you. I thought that it would be cute to combine these with like the pattern headers from Hello Simple Paper to do a white space spread like the one that I did a few weeks ago. You guys all really seem to like that. So that was kind of like the idea for getting these. That way I could do something a little bit more cohesive. But as you can see, we've got like the marble effects on like the planner and the half box. So maybe using like the marble headers from Hello Simple Paper to make something really fun. That was just kind of my idea behind this. So these are the stickers in this collection. Then I don't remember what the rest of these are part of. Um, we've got this sheet here, which is like a, I love the yellow florals and it's got like some planner, um, what's the word? I don't know, like planner mementos, like thumbtacks and washi tape or a tape dispenser, some scissors, some planners and clipboards, a stapler, a pen. Really cute. And again, I thought that this would be nice to tie in with some of the pattern headers. This is the color header or the pattern header that I used in my last video, the one that I was mentioning. And I think that this one would actually match really well with this color scheme. So if I wanted to do something simple like that, then I went ahead and picked up this little washi sheet. Again, the cut washi. I liked the sort of confetti dropping. The hearts and the floral prints are really cute. And I think that these two might go together and be part of the same collection. But I'm not sure. This one just has florals. And this is just on, like, matte sticker paper. It's a nice quality matte, though. And it's got, like, a sort of semi-matte feel to it. I didn't get this one in clear just because I don't think that clear was available, but I thought that this would also be nice to draw in or pull in with one of those white space spreads. So yeah, that's everything from Villa Beautiful. Super excited about these and this is sort of like her style and I'm excited to go ahead and potentially get some more and put these to good use. I think that it will turn out really, really nice.
And then the last set of items for this little portion of the haul video kind of go together. They're from two different shops, and I'm sure that you guys can tell what shops they're from. Fox and & Pip and Clever Gal Crafts, two of my absolute favorite shops ever. They're both <laughs> run by ladies who are also named Amanda, and they collabed and did what we're calling it like the Clever Fox collab. And they did what they also called Bopocalypse. So if you've been watching uh, my videos or if you like follow the Fox and Pip on Instagram or something, you probably know that she's been doing a lot of these bow sort of memento type things. Bow clip boxes, bow clip stickers, bows on planners, bows on dresses, the little Fox and Pip girls holding the bow, and I love her bow shape. It's really, really pretty. So she came out with a bunch of bow releases, and then Amanda from Clever Gal Crafts foiled the bows and made foiled bow stickers, and she came out with some color schemes that then Amanda from Fox and Pip made into bow clip stickers in the same color scheme. So they all kind of go together. They released at the same time, and it was crazy madness, but I got a bunch of stuff that I'm super excited about. So first, I'll start with the Fox and Pip because I got less here than I did from Clever Gal Crafts. Okay, you guys, so it is actually the next day right now. I was in the middle of discussing my purchases from Clever Gal Crafts and the Fox and Pip when my camera died, so it kind of made that decision for me. But now the rest of my packages have come in, so I can just pick up where I left off and show you everything all together. So I was talking about my Fox and Pip purchases, and I placed an order and I got this little freebie got a little circle that says I like big planners and I cannot lie and then we've got this little drawing of a planner so so cute and that definitely uh, kind of motivated or inspired my next purchase which was for this little set and this is called the big planner I think it's called like, the big planner set I don't know so it is a little set that you can pick up with some items that have the drawing of the planner that Amanda made. And if you can see here, this one is like a traveler's notebook. It says, that's why my planner is so big. It's full of secrets. A uh, little Mean Girls quote there. You've even got like some little simply gilded bow washi drawings and a bunch of fun clips and pretty pens. So cute. And as part of the set, you get two double boxes. So a double box sticker like the kind that you would get in an Etsy kit. You get two of those. You also get them as journaling cards. So you get two different journaling cards on like a pretty like thin cardstock that you can go ahead and laminate and use in your planners. And then you also get this little bookmark. Again, unlaminated, but I would recommend laminating it. And then you can use it in like a book or in your planner or wherever you'd like. So, so cute. And I think all of these things were $5. I just wanted a few more little goodies with this really adorable planner. So I'm really excited about these. But of course, I also picked up some stickers. I didn't pick up a ton of stickers just because I feel like I already have a lot of Fox and Pip stickers and I just don't really need that many more. So first I picked up the bow page flags. So these are little flags with bows on them and they are outlined in black. Just really cute and dainty. They're quite small. This is my hand and that is the sticker. I picked it up in pink and... This color over here is called teal, but I would say that it's like a pretty true minty blue shade. I just thought that this would be really cute for marking just about anything in your planner. Sometimes I like to use little flags and stuff like this to mark the videos that I upload throughout the week or the days that I work. Different things, so I grabbed two of those. And then continuing with the bows, I did go ahead and pick up these bow clip boxes. This is the Sophie color scheme, and you'll see more about this when I mention my Clever Gal Craft stickers, but Sophie is a color scheme by Clever Gal Craft. So this was kind of the collab. She came out with a hand-drawn bow clip boxes in the color schemes that Clever Gal Crafts came up with, I believe. This is called Sophie. I went super hard on Sophie with my Clever Gal Crafts order, but on this sheet, we've just got some beige and some rosy pink, so really sort of neutral for me. Light pink is definitely my middle ground, so I figured I would just get that one and I could use it with a bunch of stuff. Then I also picked up this sheet here. This is called Planning Sesh, and we've just got some cute hand-drawn planners and little lattes and heart mugs. I just thought that this would be cute for marking any time that I use my planner, and that's pretty often. 
And then lastly, I picked up this channel surfing girl. Super cute with like a top knot and her pink shirt on her pillow. And that's what I look like. I actually don't have a TV in my room because I never really watch TV on TV. I just watch everything on Netflix. But I think her Netflix sticker is kind of big and it's red and it's dark. So I thought that this would be cute for any time that I'm having like a little uh, binge on Netflix or even YouTube or anything like that. So that is everything that I picked up from the Fox and Pip. Love it all as always. Next, I do have here my goodies from Clever Hell Crafts, and I really splurged, and I got a bunch of sheets of things that I really loved, and a lot of repurchases, so I will go ahead and share those now. Again, this was Bowpocalypse, so I did pick up quite a few sheets of her new bow stickers, because I really, really love them, and her icons and her hearts and her flags come in a ton of color schemes. She has so many, but the bows were only released in some of her more popular ones and some new ones. So you can't get the bows right now in every color scheme that she has available. But fortunately, she had some of my very favorite ones available for the bows and ones that I think will just work really well for me. So speaking of my favorites, I think you all know that I love the Millie color scheme by Clever Gal Crafts. I use it probably more than any other color scheme, mainly because I love this shade of pink and then also this beigey shade and this lilac-y gray. I use it all the time. So I definitely had to pick up some bows in the Millie color scheme and I've just found that I just really gravitate towards gold more than anything else. I will pick up a few in like rose gold too, but I figured I would just get gold right now because I have a lot of gold things with Millie already. Then, like I mentioned, she did come out with a few new color schemes, like the Sophie color scheme, which is the one that I got the Fox and Pip clip boxes from. This is, like, so confusing. <laughs> but uh, I also got Sophie in Clever Gal Crafts foiled flags because I thought that it was just a really nice color scheme. We've got that beigey shade again, some really great pinks, a more neutral rosy shade of pink, and then some blacks. So I just picked up this sheet again in the gold, and she actually came out with the Sophie Pink sheet all on its own. So it's this shade here of pink. It's called Sophie Pink, and it's like my favorite. I really, really love it. So I totally picked up three sheets of that in gold foil because I just know that I will use this color so much. Again, this is like my neutral, my sort of regular. <laughs> this is my color so I can tie this in with so many kits that I have in my collection. So I picked up three of these in the gold and on my invoice she like circled this and highlighted it and put hashtag priorities and this was definitely a priority. And because I love the color so much, I did just pick up one of the rose gold. So just one because I use gold more often than rose gold, but I'd like to have one of those too. And that is it for all of the bows that I got. I did go ahead and pick up some backups and extras of some of my favorite items. So along those lines, I did pick up some more hearts in the Millie color scheme. Just because, like I mentioned, I just tend to fall back on this color scheme the most. So I needed some backups. I just got two sheets of the rounded hearts um, with the gold foil. I prefer the rounded hearts over the cutout hearts. I don't know. It's just my preference. Then I also got this sheet here. This is called Poolside, and it's really similar to Millie because we've got two rows of a really similar pink and then some rows of a light pink. So this is probably my second favorite. And then you also get the minty blue. And I know that I can use some of these corals for like summertime. And I like that you only really get like one row of that because I won't use it quite as much. So I think that this is really well balanced for me. And then I got one more sheet here. This is called Wild Blooms. I don't think I have anything in this color scheme just yet, but I really like the colors. You've got some of those pinks that I know that I can use all the time. A hot pink for summertime, and then coral and green, which I also think that I can use in the summer. So really excited. Just got one sheet of those again. And <laughs> continuing with Millie, I did pick up two more sheets of the Millie Gold Foiled Flags. Again, because I use it so much and I go through them really quickly, especially because you get fewer flags per color than you do get on the heart sheet. And then I also just got one of the poolside uh, sheets of flags with the gold foil. Again, really just for these colors. 
that's everything that I got from Clever Gal Crafts. I love her stuff so much and I'm so excited to use my bows and to finally be able to put them to good use because I have like a few on some sampler sheets and I felt bad using them if nobody else had access to them but now everybody can get their hands on these. Next, one of the purchases that came in today was this super tiny little purchase from Clever Gal Crafts. I just picked up a few small sheets and they're mostly like travel vacation themed because I will be going to Florida at the end of the month with my family. Here we just have a little freebie sampler. It's all like Baywatch summer themed, which is cute. And I just picked up three sheets from Clever Gal Crafts. First, I picked up the suitcases, again, for travel, and I love the color schemes. Um, I think I had some suitcases from Clever Gal Crafts from Caress Press, not Clever Gal Crafts. I feel like, have I been saying Clever Gal Crafts this whole time? I'm sorry if I have. From Caress Press, I used to have some suitcases, and I just love the color variety. This is cute for unpacking, packing, going away. And then I just got two really specific sheets that I think are really pertinent to Florida. A beach day sheet and then also a pool day sheet because I'm sure that we will be visiting the beach and also be going to the pool. And I, of course, can use these all summer long as well. Her color saturation and stuff is just really great. And she's always done um, matte vinyl. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have heard of Caress Press matte vinyl paper and how awesome and buttery it is. But I think she started offering glossy stickers, which I wanted to try, but I figured I would just stick to what I know this time around, but maybe in the future I will uh, grab some of the glossy. So that's my little order from Caress Press. My next order here is from Scribble Prints Co. And I just placed an order for a mini kit with some extras, but I guess I placed the order on her three-year anniversary, which I believe she's still kind of celebrating on her Instagram and stuff like that right now. But I actually got this three-year gold glitter freebie, which is super cool. I'll definitely put this away to pull in with future spreads. But that was kind of exciting to see. And then I also just got my regular little SPC freebie with the little scribblers and stuff like that. But I actually just picked up a mini kit with some extras. I picked up the uh, Sweet Like Candy mini kit. And I love this kit. It is so cute. It's clearly all sort of carnival and cotton candy themed with bright colors and also some pastel pinks and purples and a lot of glitter. I really love going to the local sort of, it's like a small amusement park fair type thing. It's there year round, but we love going in the summertime. We don't even like get on the ride because they're super like shady rides but it's fun to people watch they've got food and they've got cotton candy that is like huge so I love going and I believe so I usually go with Steve in the summertime or my family but I actually think that during the summertime my job goes to this place with the kids so I'm excited to go with them too so I had to pick up this kit again this is the mini kit so the format is a little bit different here we have the little exclusive kit freebie with the movie marquee, the labels, the plan next week sticker, and some functional stickers. The mini kit first comes with the full boxes, which I love. The quote says, sweet like candy. We've got the big tent. The big top, is that what it's called? The cotton candy with the girl's ponytail. So cute. And that's kind of what my hair looks like now that I changed it. The balloons and the lollipops. Then we have the functional sheet, and I love these colors. They're just so sweet. Um, I love the pinks and the purples. And this really light sort of peachy shade is super interesting, but I like the contrast. Then we have our littles and some little headers, half boxes, quarter boxes, and labels as part of the mini kit. And then lastly, we have the bottom washi. This is the only thing that I'm not like super keen on just because I think that it's super simple. So I'll see if maybe I pull in some of my washi from my personal collection, but we'll see what we do. We also have a little bit of deco. I love the horse on the carousel and the balloons. And then we also have some habit trackers and washi on here. And I just love what she did for the coordinating glitter header sheet for this too. Usually she will come out with like a sheet of glitter headers to go along with a kit. And it comes in this format with quarter boxes, flags, appointment labels, and then a full set of glitter headers. But as you can see, this is a super fun glitter header sheet. It's all like a rainbow ombre and it's a fine glitter. And I think that it will look so pretty and so fun with these stickers. So I had to get it to go along with the kit. And I'm so excited for how this will turn out. 
And then lastly, I did pick up one extra sheet. This was an add-on, and this is the sheet with the Fashion Girls. They are so cute. They are in front of, like, the carousel and the horsey, holding the cotton candy with the glitter in their hair. I love that you get four, and I think that this sheet is only, like, $2, so I didn't mind getting it that much. I really like the size of the boxes. They're a little bit taller, but they're not, like, super massive, like some kits have had from, like, Scribble Prints Co. and from other shops. And I really like, you guys know that I really like using Fashion Girls, and I usually try to extend my kits at least over like two spreads in some capacity, whether or not I film it. Um, so I think having some extra Fashion Girls will just really help me prolong the kit and use it uh, more than once. So that's everything that I got from Scribble Prints Co. this time. I'm so excited. I'm kind of sad that I'll have to wait to use this for a little while longer until we really get into summer, but I think that it's so, so fun. Then lastly, the last set of stickers is from a new shop. This is called Plan With Emily, and I've been following her on Instagram for a little while. She's got some cute stickers, and I believe she participated in the, I think it was called the Planner Girl exclusive sale. It's another one of those sales that involves a lot of shops, and they kind of hold a sale with like a coupon code for one weekend or something like that. Some happen like once every few seasons, some happen like once a month. I can't keep track of them as more pop up, but I saw that she was involved in this one and I think she was like maybe like 40% off or something really, really good. So I definitely wanted to pick up some stuff and I mainly just picked up a few of her little font stickers, text stickers, I guess, but this is the little summary freebie, which is cute. First, I picked up this sheet here. This is kind of like an assorted text sheet. It says today, to do, to go, to buy, work, to call, and then some remembers. I really like this font. It looks handwritten, but it doesn't look like super fancy. The text isn't too big. The font isn't too bold. And these are all things that my really picky self is aware of when I buy stickers. I also picked up the today sheet. So just the word today. I picked up to do, I picked up this week, and then I also picked up lazy day, and then I picked up five of the sheets that say work, and I will show you why right now. So this is a kit from the Glam Planner that I used a few weeks ago. I filmed a video on it, and basically what I do in just about every one of my spreads is I use uh, some flags or some sort of sticker to mark my work schedule, and as you can see, I do write work in myself, but for some reason, I just never like how it looks. I think that it doesn't look that pretty. But I thought that these work stickers here were just like the perfect size, the perfect font for me to go ahead and put down next to one of my little flags to mark my work schedule just like that. It looks like handwriting. Again, it's not too thick, so I think that it kind of blends in pretty well with my natural handwriting. So I think that it'll just look really nice. So I picked up five sheets of those because, again, they were on sale, and I figured I do work every week, so you'll probably be seeing a lot of these in the future. But that is it from Plan With Emily. She also has some really cute kits, but I loved these uh, tech stickers. I'm really getting into doing like really soft, delicate, feminine white space spreads, so I think that these uh, tech stickers just go along really well with that and just kind of heighten the natural sort of handwritten vibe. Alrighty, you guys, that is everything for this haul video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. I'm loving everything. These are like this is like a haul of some of my favorite things, I think, because I just love everything that I got. Let me know what your favorite items are from this video. If you're planning on picking anything up yourselves, I love finding that out. Until the next one, you guys, please take care, and we will chat soon. Bye, everyone.